20 years ago, Counter-Strike's first beta was officially released. I did have a video covering Counter-Strike's history, but it bloated to about 20 pages long, so you'll just have to wait a while for that one. For now, Valve has rolled out an update with changes to the org, a classic Dust 2 version, and chicken stickers. If you fancy checking out the Dust 2 classic version for yourself, load up a casual game and it will switch between standard Dust 2 and the classic map every round. How is this done? Well, if you go into Noclip then you'll see the new, old version situated way above the old, new one. This is quite smart because the radar overview will align with both versions. The only problem is that bots won't work on this other map just yet. More on Dust 2 later. For now, let's cover the Org. This poor weapon has been messed about quite a lot in the past year. First, Valve dropped its price from $3,300 to $3,150, and suddenly it went from being an unpopular choice to being the most used CT rifle by miles. Then in March this year they returned it up to $3,300 again, but apparently it was still too popular, because they've now made it fire slower and have made it less accurate, so it's now in one of the weakest states that it's been in a long time. But it's more complicated than that, because its slower fire rate gives the weapon more time to recover from recoil, so if you spray with it now it's actually easier to control, even though its accuracy values are now worse. In short, they've made it more of a long range weapon, so if you're going to be facing enemies up close, the M4A4 is the best, thanks to its fastest rate of fire. The M4A1S is somewhere in between, with its better unscoped accuracy, faster walking speed and higher base damage. And the AUG is to be the long range weapon of choice. Also, Sloth Squadron pointed out that while standing inaccuracy is worse, crouch firing hasn't changed, so if you want to use the AUG, crouch in a corner somewhere and snipe the enemies from long distance using the old stop scope flick fire technique. The chicken stickers are easy to cover. In the capsule there are 17 of these scrawny little things, and here is what they all look like, showcased in game. There's the high grade, the middling remarkable grade, and the most sought after exotic grade of stickers. Also, there are a few small changes to Danger Zone, fixing a duplicate item exploit, and making warm up more about teamwork and mixing it up a bit by giving everybody a random pistol that, sorry, don't care to you. Back to Dust 2 again. It does mean that there are two copies of Dust 2 in the same map, kind of making it two Dust 2. Or Dust 4, if you like. While it looks similar to the 1.6 version of the map, there are slight differences. For a start, it's more pixelated. Textures may have been low quality back then, but texture filtering was still a thing. What we've got in this CSGO version is like software mode, which would run without any of the cutting edge graphical effects from 1999. What I do like are the more vivid colours. The original lighting looks washed out and green in comparison. This CSGO version is definitely an improvement in my opinion. Another change, and one that I don't think is so positive, is the skybox. While it disables the modern 3D skybox, it doesn't replace it with the old one or anything like that. So what you're playing on doesn't look quite the same as it would have back in 1.6. But most of you won't mind too much. It's something cool and novel, and I think some of you may be more disappointed that it alternates between old and new every round. So for those of you, I proudly present my version of the map, which will be forever Old Dust 2. I'll be improving on it as time goes on, but for now it's the new old version of Dust 2, with the original skybox, courtesy of Zool. Plus, bots will work in this one. It's nice to see that Valve has celebrated Counter-Strike's 20th anniversary in some way, and with a classic version of the most popular map ever. But if I wanted to be annoying I'd say that Dust 2 didn't come out until 2001, and that for the first beta there were only four maps, and they were all hostage. And none of them are in Global Offensive. Valve